Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a special big warm welcome if you're new here. If you made a list of some of the things that you really wish that you had in your closet, I bet the right sneakers would be on that list, along with probably go-to looks for wearing with them for easy everyday style. Alternatively, you may already have a pair of sneakers in your wardrobe, but you aren't sure how to style them or what to wear them with. So today I'm focusing on do's and don'ts of how to style sneakers and how to wear them as well as how not to wear them and what they work best with. I'll be showing you easy everyday outfits that work with sneakers that are simple to put together and are the perfect combination between understated, comfortable and elegant. I've also listed under this video and I will be giving you some recommendations as we go on some of the best sneakers across all price points. So if you're confused about the huge range out there, I hope this will help you because there really is a huge range of sneakers. Classic white or mainly white sneakers are really one of the best fashion staple pieces for your wardrobe. And these are the type of sneakers that I'll be showing you and I'm going to be talking about today. So first off, I just want to offer you a quick guide to things to consider when looking for a pair of sneakers so that they maximise their versatility and will go with more items in your wardrobe. So the first thing to consider is comfort. For many of us, that's really, really key. And I know that for me, comfort is king. The second thing is minimal colouring so that they don't clash with any of your wardrobe and that you can wear them with a wide range of your clothes. Three is don't cut off the leg at the ankle. It's not flattering by and large to have the effect of the bottom of your leg cut off. So I tend to favour lower top sneakers. I'll be talking to you about those. Number four, not too chunky. Now, maybe this is a personal thing, but I think that the more versatile sneakers are those that are sort of staple size, not what I call clod hoppers and really chunky so that your feet tend to look bigger than they are. To be honest, I think if you're tall, this style can look good, but it's definitely not for petites. Number five is either real leather or cotton and canvas, which makes them breathable and not too hot for the warmer weather. And number six, easy to get on and off. I hate struggling getting on and off. Now, I'd really love your views on those points that I've selected to consider. So I'd love your comments in the comment box below the video anytime, to be honest, you're always welcome. Okay, so there are two pairs of sneakers that I'm focusing on today and that I'll be styling up. I've selected them not only because I love them both, and also because they're at two very different price points. Firstly, I have these Marks and Spencers ones. These are light, bright, and white. They're incredibly comfortable, true to size, and they wipe clean really easily, actually. They're also quite low rise on the foot, um, very feminine vibe, I think. Now, the price point is an incredible 25 pounds. Now, the second pair um, I'm gonna be showing you are these to die for Vasia sneakers there with that beautiful thing on the side, which I bought on my recent trip to California at Nordstrom in San Diego. These are the Water 2 low top sneaker in white and a very soft light sand color, very similar to the Campo ones. The top is organic cotton canvas, very light, again, incredibly comfortable. I love the two-tone color, which is soft, so it doesn't distract from the essentially creamy look, but it also goes with most of the things that I wear. Now these are somewhat more expensive, uh, about £125, I think that was about $140. So let's start styling and dive straight into my do's and don'ts on how to wear them with different types of clothes. So firstly, I'm going to be looking at sneakers with jeans. So for this look, I've selected the first pair of sneakers I showed you, the ones from Martin Spencer's. I really think that a fresh, white, or minimally colored pair of sneakers like these gives a relaxed vibe and really pairs down the look. Easy, practical, and comfortable. So sneakers are perfect with all shapes of jeans. Or are they? <laughs> Let's start with a nice positive do. Do make sure that your jeans or trousers hit your leg at the right height to create balance with the sneakers. This is really important because that way they will look much more stylish. So these jeans stop at the ankle and that leaves an all important gap between the bottom of your jeans and the top of your sneakers. It creates balance in your outfit. If they not had this gap, the look of the bottom of the legs would have been much heavier and not so modern looking. It's so important what the length of your trousers are in relation to your sneakers. So don't let your trousers be too long to scrunch up on the top of the foot. Alter your jeans to be a little bit shorter or maybe cuff them if you don't have ankle grazer height trousers. 
My next don't is don't wear sneakers with visible socks. They look frumpy, old fashioned, and the whole outfit looks off kilter. Do, on the other hand, wear no-show socks. Obviously, if you can, wear them without socks at all and use heel grips. Um, there's a link to Amazon that I will put underneath this video. Um, or if this is not comfortable for you, use socks with a very low rise. Um, and the ones, again, that I will put links to uh, underneath this video. So essentially the thing to do is to use socks with a very low rise and ones that don't show. Because when you wear no-show socks, the effect is so much prettier on the feet. The sneakers, if selected correctly, make the feet look thinner, smaller and classy. Okay, let's move on to a different shape of trouser. Um, now I want to talk about sneakers with wide leg trousers. Wearing sneakers with wide leg trousers can be tricky. And this is because in this style of trouser, there's a lot more material at the ankle and the bottom of the leg. So you don't want to add a lot more chunkiness with a really chunky trainer, especially if you're wearing a more fitted top, because that way it would end up you looking a little bit like a pyramid with nothing on the top and then all the bulk at the bottom. <laughs> because it's all about balance and proportion. So don't wear a really chunky trainer with a pair of wide leg trousers. They stop the trousers or jean material from falling smoothly and flowingly down. They'll also make you look shorter and a bit wider as well. So I wanna show you in this outfit. Instead, do wear sneakers that aren't so chunky with a low platform to avoid a wide bottom heavy look like these Veja ones here. Also, what you style the wide leg trousers and sneakers with makes a really big difference. If you have wide leg trousers with plenty of volume, a good counterbalance to that is a more fitted top. This will then be balanced again by sneakers that aren't too heavy. For example, this beautiful top that you can see me in here, this is from Massimo Dutti. It's one of those fabulous contrast trim tops that are so flattering. Lovely stripes as well. Uh, I just thought it went really beautifully with these lovely wide leg trousers. Okay, so let's move away from trousers now and look at dresses, which relates to skirts, of course, too. So some years ago when I was much younger and things were very different, <laughs> I would never have dreamt of wearing sneakers with a dress. It's just not what you did in those days, at least not in the UK. However, kind of thankfully, things are now a lot more fluid, styles relaxed, and I think that's a really positive thing. So I'm gonna look at sneakers with different length dresses and skirts. Firstly, sneakers with midi length dresses or skirts. Sneakers can bring an unexpected vibe to a look, particularly if you mix and match styles. For example, they give a sporty edge to the outfit when paired with a really pretty dress. Sporty elements with the sneakers and the romantic style works really well juxtaposed together, as do sporty sneakers and classic outfits and sporty sneakers with smart outfits as well. So I want to show you an illustration not only of this mix of styles and how it can work, but also the differences the lengths of the dress or skirt can make when styled with a pair of sneakers. So the first look that I'm gonna show you is with the midi dress outfit with sneakers. And this is featuring my Veja sneakers. So do wear sneakers with a casual midi length dress like this to youthify an outfit, making it look fresh and modern. Not only does it look young and relevant, it's also very practical. It's easy to put together and it can be worn for lots of different occasions. Now this simple and very cheaply priced black sundress is really given a new life by the modern addition of the sneakers, rather than traditional shoes that you might think of wearing, such as sandals or strappy low heels. Also, I've added the third layer, the denim jacket, which adds to the slightly edgy look, whilst also adding slouchy elegance and creates a really contemporary vibe, and it's a really easy thing to do. This denim jacket is a new purchase of mine, actually from Madewell. I absolutely adore it. It's relaxed, just a touch of cover when you need it, when it gets chilly, modern looking, goes with everything, and I think makes me look a little bit younger. I'd love to have your comments on that, ladies. <laughs> so the whole look, I think, is casually modern. And don't forget, at all times, it is really important that you're teaming sneakers, particularly when you're teaming sneakers with a dress, that you tie the laces in a neat bow. It looks so much prettier that way. So what about different dress lengths? I'm gonna be talking now about sneakers with knee length dresses or skirts or very slightly higher than the knee and this is a do do wear sneakers with pretty romantic dresses like this one I love these little tea dresses I think they're versatile I think they're so pretty I think they're called tea dresses you know those easy little dresses often cotton or viscose that you pop on every day they look bright and cheerful 
basically take you anywhere. I love this one. I, I don't often wear green actually, but this was a really soft version. And the cut is young, but not juvenile. Again, with a denim jacket, it looks like I'm young in spirit, let's say. To be honest, this whole outfit actually comes from Marks and Spencers. The dress, the jacket, which is really similar to the Madewell one, but a fraction of the price, and the sneakers, also the Marks and Spencers ones. It just shows that you don't need to spend a fortune on your clothes. Now, the knee-length dress works really well with the sneakers. It allows plenty of leg to show, but not too much, and the sneakers are low rise, so the ankle is shown again, adding to the youthifying look. So don't, here's a don't, wear high rise sneakers with knee length dresses. It's just not a flattering balance. But what about maxi dresses? So I'm gonna look at sneakers with maxi length dresses. Now, I think this can depend on your height to a large extent. Now I'm only five foot four and I know that at my height, I can't actually wear a sneaker successfully with a dress or a skirt unless there's a gap between the bottom of my dress and the top of my sneaker. Now, if you don't have that gap, um, I look bottom heavy, short and stout. So a do here is make sure that you have that gap between your skirt and dress and your sneakers. Now, the other thing that is also dependent on whether it works or not is the amount of volume that you have in the bottom of your maxi skirt, particularly if you're, say, five foot four and under. This look works, I think, because this dress, the same one I'm wearing now, it's really pretty, um, actually works because it's quite fitted. It's not lots and lots of volume at the bottom. I think you can get away with more volume in maxi skirts and sneakers if you're much taller, because you can just carry it off so much easier. But I think if in doubt, wear a more fitted skirt. I would also add that sporty sneakers with a long skirt or dress are a don't. They're too heavy, they make the feet and the ankles and the bottom of the legs just look really chunky. And do you know what my final do is? Just buy the sneakers that you fall in love with. Wear them and be happy in them. I'm a real advocate of that. And as soon as I saw those Vasia sneakers in Nordstrom, I knew they had to be mine. I knew I had to take them home with me. Style and fashion, to my mind, is all about what makes you happy, ladies. So I know this is a do's and a don'ts video, but if you strongly disagree with me on certain points, which you, you may well do, that's absolutely fine, and I love you. <laughs> As promised, in the video description under this video, I have listed a selection of some of my favorite sneakers, which I think you would love too, all at different price points to help you select if you are looking for a new pair. There are so many out there that I thought you'd like a mini guide. I've gone from anything from con uh, through Supergar, Veja, or of, of course, uh, right through up to Golden Goose. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please do give it a thumbs up underneath the video. And if you're new here, please do subscribe, as I'd love to have you here on our community. I share styling tips and inspiration on what works, and probably more importantly, what doesn't work every week. I'd love to have you comment too, as we have a fabulous community on this channel, and we all love reading the comments. Thank you so much. So all the links to the items that I mentioned, as I said, a big selection of sneakers or trainers, whichever you like to call them, and the things that I've been wearing are in the video description under the video. So I hope you have an amazing day, amazing week, and I will see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye.